joining me for another video of my DIY birthday bash series. I am super excited to be doing this series and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cake stand and a cupcake stand. I decided to do them both in the same video because they're both kind of similar and they are super, super easy. So what you will need is some super glue. Now you don't need any fancy super glue. I got mine from the dollar store for a dollar, so let's hope this works. Um, then again, you will need two trays. These are plastic. They can be glass if you want. Plastic is obviously less breakable. Um, and this all depends on how many tiers you want of your cupcake stand. I'm only doing two because these are really big and I won't have that many cupcakes, but you could also do a smaller one on top and make it three tiered. You'll need um, and this is if you're doing both. If you're just doing the cupcake stand, you'll need those and then a um, candlestick holder. And for the cake stand, you'll need a plate or plastic. This one is glass, so I'm a little nervous. But um, of course, if you can find plastic, do plastic. I couldn't find one that I liked in plastic, so this one is glass plate and then another candlestick holder um, that you like. So anyways, if you guys keep watching, I will show you how I am making these. Alright, so let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with our cupcake stand. So you're going to want to remove any stickers that you have and lay your cupcake stand upside down. Basically, what you're going to be doing is the top of the tea light is going to be glued to the bottom of the tray, if that makes sense. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my super glue and opening that up, and then I'm just going to be putting a small rim along the outside of the tea light and then measuring over top, like kind of looking over top of the whole thing to make sure it is completely centered before I push it down. Now once that has dried, you do want to wait for that to dry before you go on to the next part. Basically what you're going to be doing is then gluing the other tray onto the bottom of the tea light stand. Sorry if you can hear Kate in the background. But so now I'm just gonna take my super glue and push it all along the rim. Now you don't need to put it like everywhere like I did if you have this tea light holder because it won't touch in the middle. So I didn't need to go super crazy with super glue. But once you have that all glued on, you're going to do the same thing and try and look above and make sure it's centered and then push down and then push it over and let that thing dry. I recommend letting it dry for like overnight or something before you begin touching it because you want to make sure it's really dry. Okay, now going on to the cake stand. This is pretty simple, isn't it? It's the kind of the same concept. I'm going to be gluing the candlestick onto the bottom of the plate. Again, putting the plate face down and putting the glue on the top of the candlestick there. And then again, looking above it and making sure it's completely centered and then pushing it down and sliding it over and letting that dry. So now I did decide to paint this after I had done it, just the cupcake stand. So I am going to let you guys know that I would recommend painting this before you glue it together if you decide to paint this. I'm just using acrylic paint and just a sponge paintbrush. I just like that the best for painting that type of stuff. And this did take a lot of coats. Again, anytime I use acrylic paint, that's a lot of coats. So you could use spray paint too and that might actually give you a more flawless finish to your creation. And yeah, I just decided to do white and blue and that's why it's kind of neutral and I can use it for any other party. It's not just like wild and out there colors or like pink, you know, you know. So once that is dry and painted to your satisfaction, you will be sealing it with a sealant that makes sure when you wipe it down after, if there's a mess, you're not gonna end up wiping off the paint. Again, I just like never film this part and I'm sorry, it's cause I do it in my basement and it's dark and dingy down there. But yeah, so you're gonna spray it with the sealant just to seal in your beautiful design and add a really nice glossy shine to it. 
So here is the finished product of both the cupcake stand and the cake stand. As I said, you guys could add another tier to the cupcake stand if you wanted. Um, I just personally didn't do that and I just put my cake pop holder on the cake stand because I thought my cake pop holder kind of looked like a cake so it kind of gives you guys the idea of what it would look like with a cake on it. I just, yeah, I didn't have obviously a cake made or cupcakes made because it's still a little bit from Kate's birthday but I just thought these were super cute DIYs. Seriously, the cake stand cost me like $2.50 and the cupcake stand I think was like the exact same maybe like a dollar twenty five more because it's got another tier but yeah super simple and I think it looks way nicer than like the cardboard ones and looks really nice so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video make sure you guys check back on my last video which was my box box haul for my mystery ram box box by influencer which is really cool to check out make sure you subscribe to my video because I put out new videos every single week and also follow me on all my social media. I am on Facebook and Twitter most, so that is where you can get in contact with me. I will talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.